Now Wayne in the house. Weezy F baby. I like it. He got his headphones on? Yes, yeah. he does all the time. And as we promised you, Calvin Murphy resplendent in this. Whoa! Oh, go get him, Cal. Come on, Murph. I love me for Calvin Murphy. Looking like a supreme back And they're going to be over round two. Yeah. Nights like this. The guy is hey. Auto Trader. Oh, man, you got Steph Curry, too. Yes, oh, yeah. so you guys will uh -oh. not be able to. Yeah. But I still position. got a chance. I, I'm using but Kevin Durant. We only got guys. one more night after tonight. Yeah, and I got this Kevin would've, Durant. Y'all all have used him. This would have been a huge yet. night, yeah, though, yeah. for you, Chuckster. Right. But now? This would have been a big night for you to have somebody different. No, but I got Kevin Durant. I know, now. I know, but you can't, you can't make, you can't a, make a big round points. tonight. But he going to get me big. Uh, he going to... Hey. No, he's not hey, going to get you. Shaq going to have to take David West next game. He might. Listen, first okay. and second, I'm just happy to be in the game. I'm Here are the finalists for MVP. Can And Shaq, the winner in your mind will be on June 25th. That's a unanimous decision. America probably agrees with me. The great James Harden. First in scoring, third in assists, seventh in steals for the Rockets, who had the best record in the biz at 67 and 15. How big is how big is the gap between the winner and the runner up in your mind? And who would be? I mean, I'm assuming you guys are saying James. I, I would say LeBron win. would be the runner up, uh, just because of the magnitude of what he's done with all of the different lineups, and to be able to carry his team and to get them back into a position. But that would also include playoffs. So I think Davis had a hell of a year, man. I'm telling he you, did. he did. He did. But I would go with James. I think James gonna win easily. Uh, and first of all, you know, what, he could have got it last year. Russell just had a phenomenal year. Uh, but it's time for James to win it. He's had a great year. They had the best record in the NBA. And uh, it's well-deserved, man. Well-deserved by James Harden. Anthony Davis, by the way, 28 and 11 and three blocks. Second in scoring, fifth in boards, first in blocks, and 50 double-doubles, which are actually fewer double-doubles than LeBron James had. He had 52 to go with 18 triple doubles. But uh, James Harden with uh, 30 points a night, five rebounds and nine assists. And interesting, we were talking about this game and underdog underdog has given us some pretty good little tidbits, little nuggets Ernie, about what Ernie. happened in game one, including James Harden tripled more in game one than Durant, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry combined. <laughs> that's, a, that's, crazy. that's a crazy stat. And he also said the Rockets shot the ball 21% of the time with four seconds or less on the shot clock. clock. Ernie, those are the adjustments that we're talking about. You're not going to get a good shot with four seconds to go on the shot clock. You just got to heave some at the basket. And if a guy has to, if one guy drip, I ain't never heard of a guy dripping 500 times. And this guy, Kevin Durant, took 12 jumpers from mid-range in the game, which is more than the Rockets did as a team. Who's that guy with that suit behind him? He looks like Calvin Murphy's brother, but anyway. Um, <laughs> Kevin Durant had an easy game, too. Easy, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. What, what the hell he is got, that? He got the, he got the Come on, man. Come That's on, man. No he, doubt, brother. He must be, be sleeping and going to go to bed. Michael Blackson, what's up, baby? I don't oh, care what it is. That's just awful, Michael America. Michael Blackson, I see you. Back. Two we, we got some fashion here. I saw Jimmy Goldstein go by a little while ago, too. And well, yeah, we got yeah, some fashion. fashion. Jimmy Goldstein, and you got his you can wear what you want to. <laughs> hey, uh, I would say this though, that 
uh, the Blue Gators. Shaq has the Blue Gators. Well, first of all, they're, they're, they're not Gators. Thank you. Thank you. They're not Gators. They're not Roderick, they're not Gators. They're blue something. Exactly. Yeah, they are. They're nice, but they're not Gators. Not Gators. Shout yeah. out to Bruce and Freedman. Okay. Oh, I'm 17 wow. years old. Yes. Yes. Bruce and Brett. I love me some Bruce and Brett and the guys. Hey, since you just did a shout out, can I do a shout out? Of course. Oh, no. It's your show, boss. Uh, there goes Jim, Jim Goldstein in the house, y'all. Oh, there's Jimmy. We're not getting the full effect of what he's got on. Oh, there we go. Uh, welcome, Admiral. Um, uh, here, shouting out Corey Bird. Corey Bird uh, from Houston, Texas. Uh, he's a media guy with Savvy Savages University. That's his That's his startup. Corey Bird. Savvy just, Savages. Just, just what did bumped, he do? Just bumped into him. What in did Houston, he do? Okay? I said, give me a shout out on wait, the you air. Just, I said, I wait, you just you're just giving random damn strangers yes, shout out. You don't know what I'm saying. Hey, man. He's, a, he's a media guy. Yeah. Help, helping a brother out. Oh, he's a brother. Good. <laughs> helping a brother out.